Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q2 of the weekly contest 255. Minimize the difference between target and chosen elements. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, especially if you came here right after the contest, because then we can talk about this thing. And people do talk about these problems right after the contest. So it's super uh, fun. But, but yeah. Um, Okay, so this one, what is the thing, first thing that I look at? First thing I, I think about is maybe some sort of dynamic programming and like some sort of binary search and dynamic programming. I thought about maybe heaps, you know, like bounding the, the number in some way. And then I look at the constraints. I said, okay, so the target is less than 800, right? So then the question for me was, is there a way to change the target, um, to use target in some way, right? Um and that's basically the idea that I have here. Um, so again, when I was trying to solve this problem during the contest, I was trying to figure out if I could use some heap and only care about some numbers. But then you may have a last row where, you know, you bring everything back. So I, I didn't think it would work and you only care about certain things. But yeah, so as soon as I saw the target, I said, OK, let's do the math. Right. Um, and I pulled my calculator, which you can't see on screen. But I wrote, OK, 800. Oops times 70 times 70 what is that that's 3.9 million uh, maybe that's good enough so that was basically my logic um yeah uh and you know in python it's a little bit sketch actually to be honest because python is super slow but anyway so the idea i have here is breaking into cases right um i don't know what the best recommended way is and maybe we can do some co-review afterwards because i'm curious but this is the way that i did it but basically, there are only two cases, right? Um, or two possible cases. One is that the smallest or the closest number is smaller than target. And then the other case is the smallest number is bigger than target. Okay, duh. Um, but for me, that's how I broke it down, right? So I go, okay. What is, let's say we sum up the smallest number in each row. What, what, what do we get? Well, if we sum up the smallest number in each row, then we have two cases, right? If we sum up the smallest number in each row, if the the, the total is is greater than target, that means that you're not going to get any closer, right? Does that kind of make sense? Because if your small if you take the smallest number in every row, and it's and you sum it. And it's already bigger than target. You're not going to get any smaller number because that's just the way it is, right? Because um, it's not possible to get smaller. Because also because there's no negative numbers, though I don't know if that matters. Um, it's just that there's no possible way. I mean, negative numbers do matter uh, in that there are uh, mixed things a little bit more complicated. But, 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 but okay. I, I put emphasis on this part because it is important to know to understand for the next part that okay so let's say then in the other case smallest is smaller than target but well, what does that mean right because all the numbers are at least one and seventy that means that let's say our constraints are rows is equal to seventy columns is equal to seventy. Right? And target is equal to 800. Right? What does that mean? And you can actually tweak around this a little bit, but I'm just going to, you know. Um, let's say you can even use zero. It doesn't matter because, but I wanted to use zero for illustration because it's easier to kind of visualize. Then that means that our smallest total, or total smallest maybe, is a query? is equal to zero, right? I know that this is one instead of zero, but bear with me here a second. That means that, that means that, that means that there exists a solution um, or an answer where um, delta is equal to 800, right? Does that make sense? I don't know why this takes so much. My computer is a little bit slow. Is it frozen? Just like the, uh, I think my 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 browser is frozen. So yeah, oh, eight hundred, right? Because that what does this mean? That means that 
if um, that means that answer has to be between 0 and 1600 right all right I, I gotta get a new browser sorry friends um, But yeah, does this make sense? Because if the reason is because if there is a possible sum at sixteen oh one, say, um, this is already farther away, right? I don't know why this computer. I need to maybe get an upgrade. Sorry, friends. Uh, I'm trying to type it out for y'all. Okay, there we go. Um, okay. Hope that makes sense. So that means that the answer has to be between 0 and 1600. So then now, this allows me to do a dynamic programming on each row. Um, and that's basically the idea I have here. So upper means upper bound. I set the, it equal to target times 2 because, again, the answer has to be from 0 to... You can make a tighter bound, but I didn't want to do the math. Um, and zero is the better answer, right? I don't know why this outcome. Okay. So then here now, this is the rest of the code, and it is dynamic programming on, on, uh, on the fact that okay. So the previous row, we we look at every possibility, right? What, I mean, this is just a. Basically, look at each row. Previous row, previous x is true if the, there is a possible sum to x. And again, uh, sorry, friends, my computer is really acting up weird. Okay. This is now not a nigga. So previous x is true if there was. Possible, possible sum to x in the previous row. Okay. And then the dynamic programming hopefully now makes sense, which is that for each row, um, and I sort it just to make it a little bit maybe faster. You don't even need this. Um, it, it makes it a little bit faster because then I can uh, do this break. But you actually probably don't need this. It's just that in Python, I'm always making optimizations dubious. But yeah. So if the previous row has a sum in the index, then now for each item in row, we set, then item plus the index is, uh, is a possible sum. So we set that equals to true. And then now at the very end, we set the previous equal to possible. And then at the very end of that, after we process all the row, again, we set best it goes to target minus smallest, though that should be in the thing anyway, as a as a possible answer. And then we just go through every index. And if it's possible, then we look at the absolute difference between index and target. And then that's your answer. Um, yeah, that's basically the idea. And this is dynamic programming. Of course, this is going to be O of R here. Uh, this is going to be O of target times 2, which is O of target. And of course, this is O of this is O of C. I, I use R and C instead of N and M because N and M is confusing. So of course, this is just three for loops. So in the worst case, this is going to be O of R times C times T for target time. And in terms of space, this is just O of um, O of C. Oh no, no, sorry, O of T. Um, It's all of t space because each row we have t times two space, right? Um, and then here we, yeah, that's pretty much the answer. I mean, I don't know. Um, yeah, so that's the answer for space, and that's the answer for time. And again, if you plug in the numbers, seventy times seventy times uh, sixteen hundred is good enough. So that's why I said this is good enough. Um, yeah, uh, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. 
Um, this is a really tricky one finding. Uh, I think this observation is tricky. I have, I, I would admit that I've, I don't know if I've seen a similar problem before, but I have used this technique before, which is why I was able to come over relatively quickly. Did it in about six, seven minutes, maybe. Uh, I think I did a lot of, I guess it was eight minutes, but I did a lot of testing to to double check. Um, that's why it was a little bit slower, but because I wasn't quite sure about the running time, because Python is slow. Uh, anyway, that's all I have for this one. You can watch me solve it during the contest. Next. Very weird problem, but okay. Choose one. Say what? Mm, seventy by seventy.
wonder if I should do this in another language, but... Fast enough. Why does it give me more hits? Oh, different target. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fast enough. Just times out, I'll be very sad. Pretty sure that's fast enough in most languages. Hey, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Hope y'all have a good rest of the week. Uh, stay good, stay healthy, uh, and to good mental health. I'll see you later. Bye bye.